Mulga Bill's Bicycle by Andrew Barton Banjo Patterson Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Edwards Mulga Bill's Bicycle T'was Mulga Bill from Eagle Hawk that caught the cycling craze. He turned away the good old horse that served him many days. He dressed himself in cycling clothes, resplendent to be seen. He hurried off to town and bought a shiny new machine. And as he wheeled it through the door with the air of lordly pride, the grinning shop assistant said, Excuse me, can you ride? See here, young man, said Mulga Bill, from Walgett to the sea, from Coinroy's Gap to Carceray, there's none can ride like me. I'm good all round at everything, as everybody knows. Although I'm not the one to talk, I hate the man that blows. But riding is my special gift, my chief to sole delight. Just ask a wild duck, can it swim? A wild cat, can it fight? There's nothing clothed in hair or hide, or built of flesh or steel. There's nothing walks or jumps or runs, on axle, hoof or wheel. But what I'll sit it, while hide will hold, and girths and straps are tight. I'll ride this here two-wheel concern right straight away at sight. Twas Mulgabill from Eaglehawk that sought his own abode, that perched above the dead man's creek beside the mountain road. He turned the cycle down the hill and mounted for the fray, but ere he'd gone a dozen yards it bolted clean away. It left the track and through the trees just like a silver streak. It whistled down the awful slope towards the dead man's creek. It shaved the stump by half an inch. It dodged a big white box. The very wallaroos in fright went scrambling up the rocks. The wombats hiding in their caves dug deeper underground, as Mulga Bill, as white as chalk, sat tight to every bound. It struck a stone and gave a spring that cleared a fallen tree. It raced beside a precipice as close as close could be. Then as Mulga Bill let out one last despairing shriek, it made a leap of twenty feet into the dead man's creek. T'was Mulga Bill from Eagle Hawk that slowly swam ashore. He said, I've had some narrow shaves and lively rides before. I've rode a wildwood round a yard to win a five-pound bet, but this was the most awful ride that I've accounted yet. I'll give that two-wheel bout law best. It's shaken all my nerve to feed it whistle through the air and plunge and buck and swerve. It's safe at rest in Dead Man's Creek. We'll leave it lying still. A horse's back is good enough henceforth for Mulga Bill. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.